Hi guys, so today this is going to be a little vloggy video. I um, haven't made one in a while. First I want to show you a couple of things I got from work today. Um, I got two wrestling DVDs, it helps if I hold them the right way up. Um, I got Survivor Series 2006. This one looks pretty good. I haven't actually seen this one, but looks pretty good to me. At three for five pounds. I got a CD with it as well, but and then I got No Way Out. I did have this ages ago, but I think I sold it at some point, but I got it back now. Um, so, yeah. Also, I want to show you these. As promised on my other channel, I thought I would show you these, which are my two little lost dog um, figurines. They are so cute. So, they basically are just little dogs and they look like this isn't he the cutest little thing in the world and they've got like real collars and then this is his little lead um and yeah this one is called maybe today oh little lost dog so yeah love that i got that from collectibles.co.uk i think they were like five pounds each which is very cheap for what they are because they are usually a lot more expensive and this one is my personal favorite this one is called tickle me please <laughs> and this reminds me so much of lila because lila does this all the time just like rolls onto her back and is just like tickle me um so yeah you've got your little dog relaxing and he's still got his collar and his thing um and on the bottom tells you which one it is and has some little pad things so that it doesn't wear it out so yay that's so cute basically there's not that much to vlog about to be honest but um i thought we'd do one anyway because i haven't done one in a while so basically all that is happening um recently is i am covering in the doncaster store um, of the brand where I work and yeah I'm pretty much doing long hours and not getting days off and like I think it's next week I literally haven't got a day off the whole week and yeah and then going between like Crystal Peaks and Doncaster it's like oh. but you know it's still there and at least it's a job I suppose um so yeah that's something and other exciting news is getting very close to going to see Aidan Grimshaw for the very first time apart from the X Factor tour when I saw him um, and yeah I'm really really excited about that that should be amazing um, then like the week after that I'm going to see Field Music Field Music as well they have been finally nominated for the Mercury Music Prize and it's been a long time coming because them lads they just they slog their guts out and they are so highly rated like amongst their peers but like critics never seem to get them and they've like been my favorite band for years i can't tell you how many years it is um and yeah i'm so glad that they have finally been nominated for the mercury music prize i think i might have a little bet on them if i walk past a betting office um they definitely deserve more recognition than you know than what they've ever received and the fact that you say oh i like field music and people are like what what's field music and you know they shouldn't be like that everybody should know what field music are because they are just amazing um so yeah i'm going to see them on the 5th of october in leeds and then the day after that I'm going to see Dara O'Brien as well. Um, I've seen him a few times before in the past and he's so funny. Um, really hilarious. Um, the way that he works with the crowd is just second to none, I think. The fact that he can like make a show out of just talking to the crowd and you know, it's it's really, really good. Um, then on the 21st of October, <laughs> I am going to see Matt Cardle again. Woo! Yeah, anyone who doesn't know, um, I'm a massive Matt Cardle fan and I don't care who knows it. His new single is amazing. 
um, much better than anything that was on his last album. Don't get me wrong, his last album really grew on me towards the end, but when I first heard Run For Your Life, I was like, oh dear. So yeah, I'd supported him all the way through the X Factor, and then I just don't think that Gary Barlow did him any favours with that song whatsoever. The fact that it was like the only song that he didn't write and then, you know, released it and it sort of, I don't know, it wasn't a good way to get off with the album, I don't think. Um, but this one, um, It's Only Love, I think is really, really good. Um, it's a lot more rocky, but it's not majorly rocky, but it's, you know, it's a lot more rocky than anything that was on Letters. Um, and I absolutely adore it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see him in Birmingham at the Institute in like the tiny room because I think Delilah is playing in the big room that day and Matt is playing in the temple is it called? I don't know I've never been there I've never been to a gig in Birmingham I don't think no tell her I've been to see Green Day and Good Charlotte in Birmingham in the tiny room it's like his little launch gigs things he's doing his they're doing one in Birmingham, one in Brighton and one in London. So yeah, Birmingham's not exactly on my doorstep, but you know, it's a lot closer than the others. And I couldn't really pass up the opportunity to be at like his first comeback gig because it's in that order. It's Birmingham, Brighton, then London. Um, so I really, really couldn't pass up the opportunity to go and see him again. And you know, it's been since February or March, I think. I think it was second, was it second of March? Or 2nd of February when I last saw him and I miss him so yeah that's really sad but yeah I'm really really excited to go and see him again um hoping to get to say hi again and get another hug which is great that's pretty much it um oh yeah and then after that I'm going to see John Bishop um on the 28th of October so um it's an action-packed few weeks well a couple of months um so I'm very, very excited about the upcoming gigs that I've got. I get to see Aiden, I get to see Matt, I get to see Field Music, I get to see one of my favourite stand-up comedians, and I get to see another one of my favourite stand-up comedians, and I really, really can't wait. I think it is going to be amazing, and yeah. I'm also waiting to upgrade my phone. Um, my upgrade was due on the 10th of September, but I've sort of held off doing it because I know that the iPhone 5 is coming out, um shortly so i'm going to see how much tariffs cost for that um i'm guessing it's going to be extortionate and i probably will end up getting the 4s because i'm on the 4 at the minute um but i think i will probably end up getting the 4s but i want to see what the iphone 5 is like first because i've never had like an iphone like just as it's come out do you know what i mean i've always like got it like two years down the line or whatever um so it would be pretty cool to get it but you know they sell out really quickly don't they but oh well so yeah that's it so thank you for watching it's been like a 10 minute long video of me rambling about nothing in particular but you know that's it so thank you for watching i'll see you all soon adios